Welcome to episode five of our lockdown liturgies. We're now approaching the end of term. During half term, Lent will begin. So this is our last Sunday of ordinary time before we begin that wonderful season of Lent. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let's greet the gospel. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus went with James and John straight to the house of Simon and Andrew. Now Simon's mother-in-law had gone to bed with fever and they told him about her straight away. He went to her, took her by the hand and helped her up. And the fever left her and she began to wait on them. That evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were sick and those who were possessed by devils. The whole town came crowding round the door, and he cured many, but he would not allow them to speak, because they knew who he was. In the morning, long before dawn, he got up and left the house and went off to a lonely place and prayed there. Simon and his companion set out in search of him, and when they found him, they said, Everybody is looking for you. He answered, Let us go elsewhere, to the neighbouring country towns, so that I can preach there too, because that is why I came. And he went out all through Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out devils. The Gospel of the Lord. A few respect. Her forehead burns my hand to the touch. We should get a doctor. There is no need. Who are you? This is Jesus of Nazareth. You've never met him before. Welcome to my son-in-law's home. Thank you. What am I doing lying here? You had a terrible fever. And all of you staring down. Dasha, don't. No one move. I'll be right back with some drinks. <laughs> and here, here, cast on this fire. Coming. Yes, I love goat cheese. Sh I should yeah, see about the uh, goat cheese. <laughs> Thank you. Me? <laughs> For what? <laughs> For obeying and following him. Let him hear. Simon! 
Eva left her and she began to wait on them. I really love this passage from Mark's Gospel and so beautifully brought to life in that clip from The Chosen. It reveals so much to us about Jesus' compassion, how he was moved to heal so many people of all sorts of illnesses and diseases, as well as healing emotionally and spiritually so many people who came to him seeking help. Jesus is still healing today and his great love and compassion never fail. What really stands out to me in this gospel, however, is the response of Simon Peter's mother-in-law once she has been healed of her fever, once Jesus has made her well again. She began to wait on them. Plus, I love the idea of Jesus eating goat's cheese. In response to receiving something from Jesus, in this case healing, Simon's mother-in-law begins serving Jesus and giving back to him. Do we do the same? Sometimes we don't need physical healing, but we are always receiving good things from Jesus, whether we are open to receiving them or not, or whether or not we recognise the good that God is working in our lives. But do we respond by giving back to Jesus? Is our response to serve him in big ways and small, however we are able in our life? Do we offer our praise, thanksgiving, our time in helping others? We can't set about serving Jesus pomegranate juice and goat's cheese, but there is plenty that we can give to him. And the simplest thing we can do is give him our love, offer him our heart, because ultimately he created that heart and he made it for love. In experiencing Jesus' love through healing, Simon Peter's mother-in-law gives back her love through service, through hospitality, through kindness. We are not slaves, we are free. And with that freedom, we can choose to love. Jesus invites us to choose him, to go to him for healing, to ask him to fulfill our every need. And when we receive that love, how can we return it? How can we reciprocate the immense love that God has poured out upon each of us. I invite you now to prepare yourself for prayer. Close your eyes, make yourself still and comfortable. You might want to open your hands in front of you to help you to be more open to receiving God's love. Is there an area of your life that needs healing? Something that needs God's power and restoration? Do you or someone in your family need physical healing? Is someone you love sick or suffering in some way? Now imagine that Jesus is right there with you. He is listening to everything you are thinking. He hears all the prayers in the silence of your hearts. He sees the parts of you and your past that you don't ever want anyone else to see. And he wants to heal you, to restore you, to fill you with his grace and his peace. Allow that healing to wash over you like a cooling wind. How do you respond to what you have received from God? How can you give back to God? How can you serve him, even in the smallest of ways? Lord Jesus, you healed the sick, restored people's sight, made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. You cast out evil. You restored people to health and happiness. We come to you seeking help for all our needs. We pray that we will come before you with bold and courageous prayers, trusting in your compassion and love. May we each day give back to you the love that you have so generously bestowed upon us. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.